Welcome to the Full Throttle Saloon Project. Like this video, join our Patreon, and subscribe. Right now on Full Throttle Saloon. It's called Throttle Fest, and it puts a bad black eye on us. There is so much on the line for Throttle Fest. It's not just a little bit of money, it's a lot. I got a $140,000 show and yeah. nobody gives a f There's so many pieces to this bridge jump, I don't know how I'm gonna pull this one out of my ass. Somebody's gonna tell me that I can't do this, I'm gonna lose my f mind. This, people are oh, leaving. It's complete insanity. They won't f listen. I am so pissed off right now. Now there's people clogged up over at the security, ripping their f heads off. I don't give a f Jesse doesn't get it, he doesn't understand the repercussions. It's about to get f ugly. Throttle Fest 2011. This is the biggest party of the Sturgis Rally. Morning. What's going on, man? Holy <laughs> Ballard promised that he would have the bars and everything ready the night before Throttle Fest. And I wake up in the morning and look out across that field and nothing had been done. The bars weren't in place, the electricity wasn't run. This is not the way to start a day. Mike? Hey. Yo, where's the bars at? I don't see them back here. Holy <laughs> This is by far the biggest show that we put together on the property, and we're doing it on an off year. And we spent a ton of money. Our bands are coming in that are massive. We're rolling the dice pretty big on this one. I'm not feeling it. In the very beginning, when the show was getting booked, I've told Jesse that I didn't feel that this was going to be a good package for this year. But Jesse insisted. I hope he's right, and I hope it turns out. Okay, back there. Ain't nobody back here. We're gonna have our ass handed to us if we don't get on top of this quick. All right, I'm on location right now. Find out what's going on. I need some bodies back as soon as I can. Okay, I'll get them down there. Maybe we can get our crew to clean these out. They're nasty in here. My guys were supposed to have the bar set up last night, and then when I got up this morning, it still wasn't up. We gotta be ready because the gate's open at 3.30. To avoid a financial disaster, Throttle Fest needs to break 140 grand in combined tickets and liquor sales. They need some more help on that stage, and they go up there and tell them you're there to help. So basically what we're having to do is erect a small city back here behind me. And there's so much goes in to put these festivals on. You have to bring in the big stage. I mean, it's 60 foot square. You've got to make room for about six or seven tour buses that are 45 foot long. You've got to come in with the sound and the lights. And then we still have to erect the bars, and we have to run electricity. We have to get lighting for the crowd. It's a big undertaking to put this festival on. What do you need from me? The biggest thing is just them bars are done. I'm Frank Rasslerz. I've been working with Mike Ballard, Jesse for the last seven years. They hired me to book the talent back here in what we call Full Throttle Amphitheater. Do you know what time he's got everybody staffed to be here? One o'clock is when the guys are coming to stock the bars. I'm a promoter by trade. I do stadium shows. I have a stadium in Chicago. I book 30,000 seat stadium. I just keep checking my phone, so if you need anything, Michael and Frank and I, we're partners on this Throttle Fest. We split things three ways. If we lose our ass on this one tonight, it's gonna be a disaster. Welcome to the Full Throttle Saloon, everybody. Today is Wednesday. It's going up here, hanging out with you. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Today's a Pappy Hoyle ride. It feels so good to get on the bike and just go out and ride out in the country and go do this run today. It's the only time that Michael and I get to ride. It's kind of that, that moment of peace for us. Hey. Man, I'm not gonna go on that ride. I'm gonna stay here and help get this stuff done. If, if you and I both are gone, this will be a disaster back here. I look forward every year to going on that Hoyle ride, but there's no way in hell I'm going this year. There's way too much that hadn't been done yet. You gotta go. Man, I'm telling you, if I leave this property today, with all this stuff going on back here, <laughs> don't you think it's smart for me to stay back here and get this done? Seeing that Michael had dropped the ball on getting all the bars and everything else ready for the throttle fest, I know that one of us needs to stay behind and not go on the Hoyle ride in order to try to get things pulled together. I'm not planning on going on that ride today. Why have I got to go on? All right. Okay. If Michael and I both are gone, there is nothing going to be ready for this throttle fest. I do not want to go on this.
Good, how y'all doing? This ride is based off of Pappy Hoyle, the guy that started this whole entire rally back in 1936. We had 150 bikes on the run today, which is incredible. Everything that we're doing here is going straight to charity, which is Angie's favorite thing. Out of the blue, he says we're giving the money to Angie Land's Animal Nation. It shows how much he loves me. We appreciate all y'all coming out. We're really looking forward to this ride. I got a new bike that Paul Yaffe just built me, and I can't wait to straddle that son of a bitch, so let's get on the run. The throttle fest going on, I wasn't planning on doing the motorcycle ride. I felt like Angie and Mike could hold that down. There's still a whole nother day's worth of work to be done in a matter of about three or four hours. Wednesday is that mid part of the rally. It's like the hump day, and it gives us that time just to leave, clear our head, just get off the property and get away and go out and ride. Getting away from this place definitely clears your head. It don't matter if you just ride 10 miles down the road or if you ride 100. I look forward to the Hoyle ride every year. It's kind of special because we just love to ride. This year it was really special because we had a brand new bike to ride and I knew that, that we were raising really great money for really great causes. It's amazing. Holy smokes, it's hump day. It's time to hump your favorite DJ. Throttle Fest in the house tonight. Holy crap, Throttle Fest. I guess I'll just wait till they show up and we'll just do it the old school way and say, what do you need? I'm good, I'm gonna take a nap. Are you really good to take a nap? I'm good, I'll just take a nap. Yes. The show's gonna start about 5.05 tonight. Doors open at 3.30. And coming on live on the main stage, the Outlaws. Michael Ballard's gone, the, the cat's away. The mice will play a little bit, you know? That's pretty good. I... It's so fun. The Stone House is part of the ride. It's just a tradition to go sign the walls every year and date it. You move this back? All over the whole place, the ceiling, the walls, everything. It's a cool place. We love it. Hell, we got a damn festival tonight. We got to start cha-chinging. The cha-chinging starts tonight. It's, and it goes I, uh, through tomorrow. We're we'll sure tomorrow because we're going to charge that cover charge because it helps out so much. No, 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 no. I just start to decompress at the stone house, and then Angie has to dig into me about a cover charge on Jack Do you not care about him? Do you care about him? Do you care that he gets his mortgages paid? <laughs> We all got to get our mortgages paid. Right, but one easy way for us to do that is to yes, charge that cover. If Michael wants to charge a cover, then we're charging a cover. That's it. End of story. If we want to start it for next year, we can. But do, do the thing you is, you said that last year. No, he and I had an agreement that it wasn't going to be Friday night. Damn near. Angie has already jumped my ass. From the minute I crawl my ass out of bed, this has been a hell day. This is gonna be a show. It starts in less than an hour. Unbelievable. Where did the rest of the crew go? Now get them up there with ice and beer and all the cubs. Let's just start getting it all set up. That stuff's gotta get rocking. Dude, I told everybody, including God and his son, that I'm still trying to get ice, I'm still trying to get cold beer, and I'm still trying to get food. That's basically what I asked for a month ago. I mean, put a fire into those guys' asses. Ice, beer, coolers, them cash registers. We got a $140,000 show, and nobody gives a Seeing that Michael had dropped the ball on getting all the bars and everything else ready for the throttle fest, I know I've got to make a U-turn and head straight back to the throttle to start pulling that together. We got to get back to that show tonight. We got in the back. They're raising hell. There is so much on the line. This show has got to pay off. Throttle fest cannot lose. Banking 
on tonight's concert to help make the rally a financial success. But there's still a lot to be done. So I topped the hill coming back from the Pappy Hall ride. I looked down there, and there is so much that hadn't been done. We are nowhere near ready for this event. That bar is almost set up. That bar is this, is this bar set up down here, or is it building it? Uh, yeah, we're good right, right now. What's happening? First and foremost, yeah. We're opening doors in 20 minutes, man. We have zero ready. None of the bars are ready. We have no money for the door. We have no chain. I don't get it, man. Frank, his shows run like clockwork, so he's about to hit the roof. He's tripping out. You know, sometimes it's tough being the, the only decision maker on the property. Come in. Food, what's your six? Are they bitching about food back there? <laughs> Come in. Um, Bionic Dan said that you stopped by their booth and said that you didn't get their payment. That's bull. I have to do it all, everything. <laughs> Damn it. Jesse's also prepping for tomorrow's Big Jackal show. Go put it down here at the opposite end of the bridge. You got plenty of rigging to be able to get up to the center point, right? Oh yeah. yeah. Mike, the Hollywood stunt guys wanted to be able to have another mechanism for some safety. Here I am being torn between the biggest stunt of my life and the biggest concert in throttle history. My brain is about to explode. No, no, they did no, 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 no. I'm pulled in a million different directions, and I've still yet to figure out what I'm doing with this bridge jump. I said that everybody was concerned about my safety and that you insisted that I be inside an enclosed cage. We'd been talking about it earlier in the week. I didn't want him to do it. I don't get it. I, I think it's stupid. I'm still totally against him doing it. Y'all are able to start selling some beer. Can you start selling it now? We can't we register. We just need a program right here. We are now officially late to open doors. No matter what you do around here, things run on full throttle time. Rocky, I need you to go program those registers down there. Steve, -o, I'll get a hold of him. We gotta get it done now because we gotta get these gates open. Byron, the registers. Can you go program those registers for those little girls? We gotta get this bar open. We can't get the registers open until we get the stuff down. I mean, we're, we're, we're late on doors James, right now. James is mostly down here doing I ain't like seen restaurants. James. We're late on doors right now. They can't even serve anybody because there's not any ice in the bins or anything right now. The beer's not cold? I mean, there's not one single bag of ice on this entire property except for what might be left over from the night before down at the main bar. un real. What can we do to speed it up? I need some. I need to get it up, but speed up like now. We are beyond the 11th hour. I mean, the clock is ticking, and there's so much yet to be done. We might just get our ass handed to us. Mess here. It sucks being in line. It is hot. It is humid. Open the damn gates. Are the gates open for people to come into the gates yet? Why do? Why do? Why aren't the gates open? I got Frank and Jesse, and it's funny to me they can't start a show back there. It's ridiculous. What do we need? We're waiting on beer tubs, beer, ice, electricity. I just had one bar back come back, so they were down to the last bag of ice, so I don't know what the is on that. We have no food, we have no ice, and nothing is prepared back there yet. They were supposed to set up the concert. It's still like not even put together. We're just standing here, just like really hot outside. We've got real call tickets. We just don't want to have to get the back of the line. How come they're not open? Frank wants to make sure everything is perfect before we open. That's bull. They got money. They got registers. They got girls there. I have no idea why they would not be ready to open the doors. One, two. Hey, yeah. One, two. Check. Sean makes an executive decision and orders the gates opened. First one, I'm honored. Thank you. Old throttle rocks. No, we don't open doors yet. Would you open the doors? When I tell you the doors are open, that's when the doors are open. Sean doesn't have no. Sean doesn't have any reason All right, to say the doors just, are open. You guys stop. Well, they did open the door, and that's a complete breach of protocol. I'm the bottom line. I need to make that call, not anybody else. Bottom line, I'm the guy. One, two, 
rain yet. One, two, check. Two things you don't do. You don't let people in and see people sound checking. They're professional artists. That pissed me off. Who's Sean? She deals with all the scheduling. She told him to open the doors. I mean, look at what this place looks like. Who in the f would tell these people to open the doors with this place looking like this? It's like unbelievable. You know they opened the doors? Who because opened? they were, they did. Thank God I walked over there. So, so I walked over there and people are streaming in and running to the stage. Okay. I'm like, okay, why are you running to the stage and why are the doors okay. open? Okay. So my concern is, is my that concern is I got a $140,000 show yeah. and nobody gives a f That's the problem. That's my concern. That's my concern. My concern is I have a $140,000 show and there's nobody that's, that's here that has any urgency except for me. That's my concern. Get the gates open. That's the okay, will do. All right. I know that Frank has a lot of money invested in this thing, but so do I. Good. Yes. Me and Frank and Jesse are partners in this show. We're doing a split and a partnership, everything on the back. But at the end of the day, this is my property, and I'm the one that's going to have to make the final decisions on what happens back there. Michael, to advise you, the gates are now open. Thank you. Take a little bit because we're gonna have to go get some. The question that's coming up out here is Thank you. some people want to leave and then come back. And so they're wanting to go. Once you're in and you pay, you will stay here, you cannot leave. So once they are in, they are in. Once they're in, they're in. Guys. We can come we come in and go, go out? No. Nope. Once you go in, you cannot come out. Oh, I just stood in line for a half a hour to buy tickets to go back and enjoy myself and then come back here later. They should have let that be known. You know, once I take this ticket, there's no one now, right? We didn't know that we couldn't come back out after we went in, so we're going to go hang out a little bit before we head in. I'm not coming in yet. It's way too early to accept something like that. I mean, you got to go, you got to go eat, you got to go drink. How we doing? Things are not hunky doy back here. Well, you better than it was before. They're telling me the bars are open, there's ice, there's beer, and they're ready to run the gates. Dude. But they said the promoter didn't want the gates open. That's why when they were sitting there ready to go, the promoter said, don't open them yet. But Frank held me on until sound check was done before I opened those gates. He said, wait until we can. It was, it was only what you sound like. Sound check to you. There wasn't no security back there. It was still working on getting cash re registers plugged up, and there wasn't ice in those beams. Bring your happy ass back to this field, and then you tell me we got everything we need. This is bull. This is the throttle. This is it is what it is. Don't try to sell it other than it is what it is. Michael didn't have the bars ready. He didn't have any ice on the property. I'm stuck in the middle, and all I care about is all these people that came here to have a good time. Food. There's people just now. There's people clogged up over at the security, re ripping their heads off because they're starving to death. They just wanted to come make sure they got into the concert and then come down and get something to eat. So I'd like to get cash in them to get some of their pre-wrapped hamburgers out there to sell. I don't have the setup to get warmers and all that. My frustration with Michael Ballard this year has hit an all-time high. It's hotter than hell out there. I mean, they, if this girl just walked around and selling burgers, people would be buying them. I'm just saying. We still have no ice, no food, and no shade. I'm going to be real surprised if people don't start passing out from dehydration. Are you guys letting these people know that there's no ins and outs in case y'all want to wait and come in a little bit later? There's no ins and outs, and we're running a little bit late on ice. That's full if I would have known that, I wouldn't have come in right now. They said, now oh, you're stuck here, you can't go anywhere. I think it's abuse. It's almost like an animal. What a f little scam that they have going on. Despite all the unresolved issues, bands begin playing on the Throttle Fest stage.
paint me up, make me pretty. <laughs> I get a lot of attention and it's fun. I'm an attention whore. We want to be able to leave and yeah. come back. Yeah. 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 Well, my buddies are over there and I want to go over there. So now I'm going to have to go over there, have some beers with them, but spend another $30 to get back in. So it's going to be $60 total. It's all about Michael Ballard making a yeah. load of money. Exactly. They have nothing to do with that. That's Jesse and Frank. They're the ones saying no in and outs. I would have never done that. There's a bunch of angry customers up there right now because there's no in and outs at the gate. And the reason there's no in and outs because Frank and Jesse don't want them leaving because we're partners in that back. I think their theory is we're doing a split on alcohol back there, then they don't want nobody leaving. They don't want them coming over here to throttle, eating and drinking in here, and then coming over there right before the show. This no in and out policy is ridiculous. This is not how we run our business. What can I do for you? We don't want to stay here for a whole time. There is no in and outs, period. If you go in, if you go out, you're out, period. That's really bull****. These people, does these people know? Yeah, they, they should all know. They should, they, know. They, they should get it know right there. We didn't know. Okay, here's the deal, here's the deal. If you guys want to fight this, I'll just have you go out, you won't even want to show it off. We did not know that until we came in and after paid. That's how and everywhere we, is, that's how the civics are. It's not. not? You know what's gonna happen is they're going out there to drink. That's the bottom line. I've been to many concerts. You can go in and out. Okay, here okay here's the bottom line. Here's the bottom line. Here's the bottom line. It's done. The conversation is done. There is no in and outs. Thank you. If you don't like it, go home. No, you're done. I'm done talking. Turn away and we got security and we escorted them out. Are we giving refunds to the tickets? That's nope. My, what, who's wanting refunds? Uh, people up there, I guess. They're finding out that they can't go no ins and outs. You come down to the bar and then head back up there. Hold on, let me call Jesse and just tell him it's stupid. I know what it is. Why they don't want to do it. Their business standpoint makes sense, Michael. I know where his focus is is just really putting on this really great show for everyone. And I try to understand his perspective. You would probably do the same. Thing. I understand that, but at the same time, it's called Throttle Fest, and it puts a bad black eye on us by doing that. We built this brand for 12 years now, so we can't have angry people and angry customers, you know, back there all pissed off over this thing. It's not cool for our company and our brand. Hello? We're getting a huge pushback on this, no, no ins, ins and outs. What concert does anybody go to? Who that they go in and out? I understand the, 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 the thing behind it. You know, you want to keep them in there and keep them drinking back there. But at the same time, I don't know, it's just not a good deal. Frank and Jesse, they don't want them leaving and coming into full throttle and drinking because they're not making any money then when they come into this side of the property. But there's a fine line to be drawn between that if you've got people pissed off. There's pissed off that are mad because they can't get ice or water. It should already be there. But it's not. Frank produces concerts all year long. He never allows any in and outs because it can cause chaos. Michael Ballard should have had that back courtyard ready to go when this never would have been an issue. All right, I'm on it. All right. We got $140,000 on the line, and Michael's trying to run things from sitting back in his air-conditioned office. I got people up here that are revolting because there's no ice and there's hot beer. I never thought that I'd see the day that I'm having to warn customers about coming into a concert. But here we go. Listen, before y'all get too far in here, there's no ins and outs, okay? We're running a little bit backed up on ice. They're bringing some over right now. Here we have a line a mile long, wrapped completely around the full throttle trying to get in, and I'm having to walk up and down the line to tell people we're not ready yet. This sucks. No ice, I, is that what you're The dice so coming. I am so pissed off right now. If I walk out, I have to pay another $25 to get back. But there's no ins and outs, so if y'all want to hold off before you go in, I won't blame you. We need to get our together now. It's complete insanity, and the fans are not going to put up with it much longer. Shade. It's 100 degrees out here. I can't drink beer. Now yeah, they're bring, they're bringing some. There's, there's a whole truckload coming in. Oh my god, I'm gonna hijack it. There's no shade, no ice, no food. All we have right now is a bunch of pissed off customers. Program 
to make a sidecar to keep right. Here we go, let's make some noise, you guys. This place is the best, hands down. There's nothing Good better. Friends. Broken back and all, you guys. Look at that. This is the best time I ever had. Oh, How's it looking though, Becker? They're straggling in. I mean, there's, you know, there's. What about I, they're I, getting pissed over the in and out? Yeah, I've got them telling everybody. You do not let them in if they want to go in and out. They come in later. This no in and out policy is ridiculous. Jesse doesn't get it. He doesn't understand the repercussions. Of course, he don't have any repercussions from it because he has nothing, nothing in this game. What about the replacement for the ice? There's not any ice on this property. No matter how much I bitch about this, we just can't seem to get any ice in this place. It's a whole truckload, and they're going to pull right up to the gate right now to unload there. Okay. They're like literally here? Yeah. OK, second thing. Is there any other umbrellas to be had anywhere? Because if they're not, I'm going to pull umbrellas off your, your picnic tables because okay. these girls have got I mean, they're baking out there. They are? Yes. Okay. And water. Did we get water set back there yet? It's coming, too. I've got both of them on the way. i got a business to run. i got 300 of my own employees. Not to worry about that. Jesse's more into it than I am. We go do whatever. I don't even care anymore. Listen, I love y'all, but I'm going to steal your umbrellas. Of course I'm going to take care of these girls. They're not only easy on the eyes, but they make us the money. Cha-ching! Because we got some girls out here dying of heat exhaustion. I appreciate you, you're a gentleman, and I love you for being so cool about it. You, not so much. I like that light, it looks good on y'all. It brings out your eyes. Oh, right. Sweet talker. Come on, let's take them out here. These girls are dying out here. I gotta get them some shade. Maybe a couple of cinder blocks or something. Is that a little better for you? Yeah, thank you so much. They're bringing them up here around, back around to this way. The ones that come in this way, like a three ring circus. We're understaffed for having the bar here and having Throttle Fest going. That's what I was asking for earlier. Give me a couple extra guys. We're reaching a critical point right now. I'm so frustrated about this whole situation that it's about to get ugly. We're just showing. I'll be right down there. Yeah, I know. I got everything that there is to do with the throttle investment in the show. We're actually running thin in our main bar area because we pulled some of them bartenders back to work that concert. So we're shorthanded all the way around the block. We had to struggle to get people from first shift to work second shift to try to fill spots and pulling people from different places. Yeah, I think you got that still. All right, Ursula. One of your teachers. We had a lot of trouble with where our people would be pulled to either work the bar. The eater, where's the nine eater? I am so short-handed. Honestly, I've kind of given up because you get so tired and you're covering shifts that haven't been able to keep up on sales. Are they asking me to? I'll do my best here. That's all I can do. My bridge jump happens in one day, and I'm supposed to be doing practice jumps right now, but instead I'm running all over this damn property. It's ridiculous to bring them through that crowd if we're not gonna even jump them. To get everything in place, even if I'm gonna jump tomorrow, we should still go and get him now so that they know where to set up. Otherwise, we're gonna spend all morning long moving this You understand what I'm saying? I'm running out of time, and I've gotta get these cranes in here. I've gotta get a platform built. I mean, there's so many pieces to this bridge jump. I don't know how I'm gonna pull this one out of my ass. I'm telling you, if everything we put off, I'm in jeopardy of this thing going south. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything, everything we keep pushing back is just, just adding up the odds against me. Jumping off of this bridge is not something I wanted to do half cocked, but that's exactly how it's looking it's going to go down. And my ass is going off of that bridge. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because, I, mean, I, I, I mean, otherwise, I'm going to say, somebody's going to tell me that I can't do this, I'm going to lose my mind. I got 
cancer six years ago. My boys brought me, and I'm coming every year as long as I walk. It's nothing like best therapy in the world. We're not ready. Join the music and the beer until we get ready. How the heck could they make them sit there and make them drink a warm beer and not have food? I put myself in the mindset of a person that bought a ticket, and I want them to be able to buy a cold beer. And if they wanted a hot dog, be able to buy a hot dog. Because if one thing goes bad out of that, they may consider whether or not they should buy another ticket. I can't have that, not in this business. Frank, they're cooking them as fast as they can, and they're getting them out there. And then... Yeah, shut the door, come in here. Dude, that's a hell of a nut to crack. 140K? I eat for back there. Michael always thinks about things in terms of a dollar. I don't give a damn about a dollar if the people aren't getting double their money's worth. I don't know how many times that we've said 60. 60K. 60K. In the story. I've told Jesse in the very beginning when the show was getting booked that I didn't feel that this was going to be a good package here in Sturgis. But Jesse kept pushing. This is a different terrain out here. But I don't know how it goes from 60. Yeah. To 140, you know what I'm saying? It's a huge gamble, and I shouldn't have done that back part. I should just focused and been tunnel vision on my normal main bar area like I should be. But at the end of the night, when everything's said and done, and all the beer money had to pull everything out of the jam, we need to be doing it. Hell yeah, I don't want to go through this again. Shoving money in their pockets up at the front gate because they, they we need some more cash. Why are they shoving pockets? Money? Dude, I've been calling for a registered drive for three hours. Three hours, man. Are you on Lama Goat? What are we I've been calling Goat. I've been calling everybody. That's like a forgotten world, dude. The Literally, thing. everything that's going on back there is just a forgotten world today. I know that Frankie's upset right now and he's raising hell, but at the end of the day, I can't be in two places at the same time. Surely they got enough sense between all of them to make that thing happen back there. I got a show to run that cost me a whole lot of money. I got two blocks of people that walked six blocks to get here, and it's taking them forever to get in. So I basically pulled Mike Ballard and Frank together so that we could produce Throttle Fest. I wish I'd have never put myself in the middle of that because Frank's used to doing things the right way, and Ballard is used to doing things the full throttle way. Dude, I've been calling to, for extra security for more pet dogs. Really? I'm calling people. Right. I can't, I mean, I, nobody answers. No, Nobody. <laughs> So what do you want me to do? That's my question. It's I, would not, love, I would love a couple more people up there. Two more registers for a line or what? To ID people so we can get them okay. into the, in, in faster. Okay. Clear the registers because the, okay. literally the money's going everywhere. Okay. Hey, uh, Chris, you got a copy? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I need two more guys up at the front gate at throttle up at the throttle fest gate to do ID checking immediately. I'm used to full throttle time, but this year is setting a whole new level of out of control. I'll go stick my head in there, right? Scott, okay. are your guys down here to get some ice? Copy that. Coming over to pick up the ice. Thank you. Go get that loaded. Come on, Johnny. So after all the hell raising, we finally got some ice. Now we got cold beers, rock and roll, finally a concert. Johnny, look, traffic. Thank you, man. Appreciate that. Dump it in there, fellas. Right, your ass on down here. Get your ass watch you. Come on. You know what? We got a good crowd. Hopefully, there is a lot of people drinking. And hopefully, we're going to come out of this thing at the end. How many bartenders we got here? One, two, three, four, five bartenders. Need one more bartender. How you doing on the food? You selling out? Hey. Mike, I've got four lines going now. I don't know how, but it looks like things have come together. Now that we have the food and the ice squared away, now we can focus on the rock and roll. You guys feeling good? Are you ready? It's obvious to me, as soon as I seen the cranes, I knew immediately what was going on. You're the stunt team? Yeah, who are you? I'm the owner of the bar. Hey, brother, how are you? Good. <laughs> so what's happening here? Uh, kind of in the dark. 
So you're gonna drop that on an air thing? It's an adrenaline rush to him to do these things, but at the same time, there's responsibility that supersedes that. And he's a great entertainer. He comes in here and kicks ass, but there are times that he crosses the line. I've seen too many people get killed. And, and these are guys that are trained. You know, the whole idea of him jumping off that bridge, I'm not into it. I don't like it at all. We're gonna shut down. We Why? have no people. Okay, hold on. You pulled my only good floor girl to the bar, and you're replacing them with people that aren't trained. We need more bartenders, more workers, more bar backs, more everything for that back. It's like doubling the size of our bar now, and I don't have enough people to do it all. So I'm having us shut down satellite. I have nobody. We can't shut down stuff. We have to problem solve. We brought in Ursula, thinking that she was just going to be able to carry all the t-shirts for us and not have any problems with that, and that's where we have the most of our problems. OK, so Holly's going to come to you. She doesn't really know how to communicate. I need this done without a lot of problems coming out. OK, and then so that'll get you covered? Yeah, that should do it. But this is the first time she's ever been here, and the t-shirts is a massive part of my business, massive. We have to move that merchandise. The Outlaws. We have two massive shows going on right now. We have the legendary Outlaws on the main stage of the Full Throttle Saloon. And then we have Throttle Fest rocking out in the back amphitheater. We got $140,000 on the line. I don't know how it happened, but things came together. The crowds came in. I mean, it's huge. It's looking like we might just make it through. A disturbance breaks out in the front parking lot. Hey, Sydney. Yeah. Just threw a beer in my face. Okay. No way. Yes, you did. How you gonna get arrested? We had a gentleman during Throttle Fest that was asked to leave, came back, jumped the fence, took a swing at one of the security officers. You were told to leave repeatedly. You've impersonated two different federal law enforcement officers. He had all kinds of wild, crazy things to tell us. I'm a federal witness. This is the one that jumped the fence that was went from an oh, FBI agent no. to Shut a your mouth. federal Shut witness mouth. protection to an oh. MP. I released his hands from behind his back. Just lean up there, don't move. Told him to put it on his head, turned around. This is the one that jumped the fence that was went from an FBI agent no. to Shut a your mouth. federal Shut your witness mouth. protection to an oh. EMP. Just lean up there, don't move. <laughs> Dumbass. And I got him and took him down. Oh, me. My pepper spray is all over. <coughs> I broke it. In the process of taking him down, I broke my can of mace. It spilt all over my leg, the side of my back. It's like a bad sunburn is what it feels like. My leg's on fire right now. Really? You need to go rinse it before that gets inside your groin, and that's going all over your body. Oh, I hope it gets on your feet. So bad. Peter, no sex for a month. If you get no sex for a month, you're on a hot streak. Did I mention my leg and side are on fire? Sturgis, you guys keep rocking. We'll see y'all real soon. Please get home safe. Go! We're going to Echo Blaze! Woo! Let's go home. <laughs> I know you're nervous. Dude, man. I think we'll 
trying to sort out the door tonight. Okay, whatever you want. Considering how the day started off, I was done at the end of the night, but Mike insisted that we start counting the money. I don't know if we get out or not. Agent, y'all can start counting. This is a uh, can drops. Okay. There is so much on the line for Throttle Fest this year. I mean, it's not just a little bit of money on the line. It's a lot. 20 bills, 1,000 bucks. Here we are at Throttle Fest, and everything that I made previous to this could be lost tonight. We need to get people out. This is a very long day. Wednesday, throttle fest. We're done. We're tired. We want to go home. You guys have the most beautiful bitches here. They're women. The most They're women. beautiful women bartending in this establishment. Awesome. Come back tomorrow. This is not total, but it's it's damn. It's probably, it's going to be pretty close. If I can just get out of it in the black. If I can just get out of this thing and break even, then I'm golden with that. 70,929 on alcohol. Are you kidding me? Where'd y'all end up at the door? Uh, 68,971. It's a long day. It's hard to think of numbers right now, man. So after counting all that money, it looks like we might have just broke even. Definitely not worth it. But considering the way the day started off, I'll take it as a win. So the good news is it looks like you didn't that lose feel, any money. If it stays like this, oh no, I lost money. If it went like this, positive. What do you mean? I don't get it. By the time we throw everything else in, marketing, by the time we throw I mean, advertising. Every, yeah, every, by the time we plug everything in, yeah, for sure. Well, that sucks. I hate working and not come out. This is ranch country, cowboy country. When you look at the demographic of who's coming from the bikers, they're 45 and up. So a lot of them guys are not into rock. And so with that, you've got a small area to draw yep. from. All right, man. Good seeing you guys again. I've made up my mind. That's my last one. This is my last deal. I'm done after this. We walk out of here with two or $3,000 a piece. I don't give a about doing it again. You guys want to do another show back there? You're welcome to it. Go hire your own bartenders, your own workers, your own people. Leave me completely out of it. I don't want nothing to do with it anymore. Done it. What a night. I knew it was going to be a I When it all bangs out, it just ain't worth all the work and all the effort for that. Next time on Full Throttle Saloon. I'm going to jump off the back of that thing. I hope Jesse don't get killed. Get the off this stage. Damn it. I'm going to be wore the out before the Jackal show even starts. That is not happening. So let me do what I do. I don't care. We're done with the stunts. I'm telling you right now, I don't want any more tattoos on you. You will love this one. Whoever sticks a needle in her this year, they're going to have to deal with me over it. That's a tornado. They got a tornado watch. Oh, my God. That's what they got. This could be an absolute disaster. God.